Welcome to Leaf Nautical Sailing Academy. I'm Paul Murray and today I'm going to introduce you to Second Report Tidal Height Corrections. We'll be using the Crocodile Graph. In this example, we plan to visit Dawson Harbour and we'd like to know the height of the high water at Dawson Harbour. Dawson Harbour is a second report of Colville, which means we need to look up the height of high water at Colville and then apply a difference for Dawson Harbour. So for example, when the high water height at Colville is 4.8 metres, then the difference at Dawson Harbour is an additional 2.8 metres and the high water height at Dawson Harbour will therefore be 7.6 metres. When the high water height at Colville is only 3.9 metres, then the difference at Dawson Harbour is different. In this case, it is only an additional 1.7 metres. So the high water height at Dawson Harbour will be 5.6 metres. When the high water height at Colville is between 4.8 metres and 3.9 metres, then we need to interpolate the difference for the high water height at Dawson Harbour. One way in which we can do this is to use a crocodile graph. On one scale, we can mark off the height of tide at high water Colville, ranging from 4.8 metres to 3.9 metres. On the other scale, we can mark the difference in the height of tide at high water Dawson Harbour. Using the crocodile graph that we have created, we can draw a line that connects the 3.9 metre high water height at Colville with the difference of the high water height at Dawson Harbour of 1.7 metres. When the height of high water at Colville is somewhere between the spring rate of 4.8 metres and the neap rate of 3.9 metres, we can use the crocodile graph to find the difference in the height of tide at Dawson Harbour. If the high water height of tide is 4.3 metres, we can draw a parallel line to the one that connects our two scales at 4.3 metres. And we can see the difference in the height of tide at Dawson Harbour is 2.2 metres. And this is how we can make the corrections for the differences in the heights of high water and low water at our secondary ports. In this example, we've used a crocodile graph to work out the difference in the height of high water. But we could just as easily have used it for the heights of low water. I'm Paul Murray from Leaf Nautical Sailing Academy. We hope that you've enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.